Okay, so let's vote. Uh, we have street view, bird's eye view, and worm's view. What do we want to draw? Show me on your fingers. One, one, two, or three. I need more people voting. I'm seeing lots of threes. Nice. Worms have you it is. Let's do this. So that's what we're drawing right now. Okay, so worms have you. So I'm gonna need your your voices off for this so I can walk you through how to do it. So I folded my paper in two quarter because I have to work small when I'm first doing this. Let's do a worm's eye view. Let's make a dot in the middle of our page. Do, do, do. Okay. Someone just left. I'm aware he went to the bathroom. Okay. Hey. Please no helicopters with the rulers. Thanks. So when I'm doing a bird's eye view, I like to also lay out a street. So I have my vanishing point in the middle. I have my vanishing point in the middle. I'm going to lay down a street. This is not to be mistaken with your horizon line. This is just a street. Okay. So I have two lines. This could definitely be more straight. Okay. I want you to draw nice and light. I'm drawing dark so you can see. And if you're not following along, you're going to get lost. So let's start with, uh, I'm just going to do a... Excuse me. It's really hard to walk you through how to do this when the boys are having so many side conversations. So put your pencil in your hand. There you go. So start with making a three by three square. Okay. We're going to play a little laser tag. I want you to draw super light. Now is a good time to make some noise. We're going to do laser beams toward our vanishing point. Okay. There's one. Now, what's going on with this building? I have a building here, but it looks funny. But I raise a hand. What would you do to fix this? Oh, we said we were going to do worm's eye. Oh, my bad. I'm doing a bird's eye view. <laughs> yeah, let's just keep cruising. Yeah. So, I kind of gave it away here. Look at what happened to this line. So, this is a number one stunner for making mistakes when kids are first learning perspective. They want their buildings to melt into the sidewalk. This vertical line is so important to snip it. It's like Pinocchio, right? You want to snip the strings, set it free. And when I'm done, I like to kind of hit it with a heavier bit of pressure on my contour line. Where's my contour if I raise a hand? Yes. Sorry, I can't hear over here. Yeah, it's the outline. There you go. So what I want you all to do, uh, let's put in at least three squares. Mine are about three by three. If you're to the right of the vanishing point, and I, I'd like you to use a ruler. I know I'm freehanding it. I'm cheating. So notice that when I when I cross over the street, I like to keep it super light because I know I'm going to erase that anyways. Now, look at the look at the left and the right. 
you'll see that these two okay so compare and contrast this guy over here versus this guy over here which one looks more realistic number one or number two show me on fingers which number one or number two uh, let's get everybody in the mix here. Look for 100%. What looks more realistic, building one or two? Tall and proud. Back row, almost there. Waiting on a couple people in the first row. Which one's more realistic, left or right? Show me on fingers. We got the back. The, uh, back row seems to differ. Third row definitely seems to differ. So third and second row. Let's do this. Uh, Chase. Well, hang on. I want to see Matele. Matele, why does this one seem more realistic than that one? Ah. This, so, Derek, check this out, bud. So what Matele is talking about is see this line right here? This melts kind of in. But you need to know to... Uh, come in and add a perpendicular line to get rid of that and suddenly look at that this building is standing okay, let me use a little eraser look at that that is a big difference so I'll do it again down here let's do another couple of squares go for it And notice, this time I'm going to do three below. I want you to use a ruler. I know I'm going a little quick here. Okay. So I'm going to laser beam these to my center. Remember, while I cross the road, uh, I, I want my lines to be so light that I can't see them. But one, two, three. One, two. One, two, three. Watch me play some laser tag. So notice my ruler just anchors on the vanishing point, look at this. When I move my ruler, look at that. It just anchors. It never moves. So oftentimes when students struggle, uh, when students struggle uh, learning these first steps, they, they overthink it. Okay, look at this. So my lines can go up and down. All right, they can go left and right, or they go toward the what? There you go. When I say vanishing, you say point. Vanishing. Point. All things disappear. Now, help me out. How do I make these squares look more like these ones? What do I got to do to fix them? Uh, yes. Okay, let's start with erasing the lines right here. Okay, what do I do next? How do I make these bottom ones look a little more realistic like these ones? Yeah, Matele? Can you go in the hallway, please? Thanks. Just ha I can't hear the other students when you're just shouting things out. Thanks. We'll talk in a minute. Uh, yeah, Matele, what's up? Okay, where do I put them? So a little bit louder? You put it on the, the, oh my God, the building. Okay, put a line on the building. How about, so right here, am I going this way or this way? So we're, notice where these corners meet your road. You have what type of angle right here? What is that? See this L? What type of degree angle is that? Yeah, 
It's a right angle. So where this meets the road, are you seeing a right angle? No, you're not. So how do you make... You have a parallel line here and here. Then you have a parallel line here. And wait, where's that other parallel line? So let's do a little compare and contrast. And you know what? I'm going to use my marker so you can see it a little bit better. Right here. This is the sweet spot. So you'll notice where my dotted lines are. I have a 90 degree angle here and down here. Okay, so these all make sense because you have your right angles at the bottom of your building, right? Only well, problem is right here, you'll see that it just kind of melts into the ground. So what do I have to do with this line right here? Do I do this or do I do this? Do I want to add a perpendicular line right here or do I want to add a uh, ex elongate this line? Show me, think Pinocchio. We gotta cut the strings and set them free. So this is the number one confusing part of learning this craft. So you'll note that when you're just below a vanishing point, you only have one side. When you're to the right of the vanishing point, you can see two sides. When you're left of the vanishing point, you can also see two sides. Okay? So I want everyone to really focus on is check to make sure that the bottom of your building has a 90 degree angle. It should look something like that. It's an invisible 90 degree angle, but think for sure. Turn and talk to a friend. Take a look at what you're working on. Give each other a little feedback. And I'm, ooh, I'm already seeing some people getting this. Nice. Let's do two minutes of feedback, and uh, then we got to wrap it up. That's a full class. Nice. Okay, I, I, I was worried here. I thought you weren't getting it. These are looking good. Thank <laughs> you.